can't wait any longer. Let's proceed. <coughs> Sir, it appears that even your closest friends have abandoned you. <coughs> so is there no one here who will speak on your behalf? What do you have to say for yourself, Jesus? Are you the Son of God? It is, as you said. Blasphemy! We have heard it from his own lips. Jesus, are you the King of the Jews? My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jews. But now my kingdom is from another place. You are a king then? You are correct in saying I am a king. In fact, for this reason, I was born. And for this, I came into the world to tell the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. And what is Truth. Madam Prosecutor, you may make your final statement at this time. Thank you, Your Honor. Chief Priest Caiaphas, members of the Sanhedrin, and ladies and gentlemen of the jury. No one is here to stand with Jesus demonstrates a lot about this man's character. No one is here to defend Jesus because they know that his claims to be the Son of God are simply unfounded. Our testimony has demonstrated that Jesus is unable to meet all the needs of those who require him the most. The true Son of God would not have allowed such pain of heart. The true Son of God would have respect for our ancient traditions. The true Son of God would respect our religious leaders and their rules. But as you have seen, Jesus has failed to respond. He has disregarded tradition and he has ignored the requirements of our religious leaders. All the accounts that we have heard from Simon Peter can be discounted by anyone who will take the time to examine the facts. Certainly, Jesus may be a good teacher, easily enticing the unlearned and the unskilled masses, but that is all he is. Where are the crowds now? Where are the blind that can see? Where are the poor? that were fed? Were the, were the dead that he brought back to life? Certainly, these people would be here to defend this man. One can only reasonably conclude that all of that was storytelling. Fables told to persuade <coughs> and to deceive. He claimed to be the Son of God, a Savior. <laughs> Some Savior. He's the one that needs to be saved now from his own delusions. Jesus is just a man. If he really was the Son of God, don't you think he'd perform some miracle right here to back up his claim? Right now, right in this courtroom. No. Our evidence shows that Jesus cannot be the Son of God. If he really were the Son of God, the things that we have seen and heard would lead others to stand for him. But the lack of witnesses for the defense leaves us with little to surmise that he is guilty. And this guilty man must be punished for his crimes. He must be held accountable for his perversion of the law and his claims to be the Son of God. This behavior cannot be tolerated 
if we are to maintain our ways, our traditions. Jesus is a blasphemer. And the law requires the blasphemer must pay with his life. Ladies and gentlemen, when you examine all the facts, your only choice is to find him guilty and bring the maximum penalty against Jesus. Madam Prosecutor, Chief Priest Caiaphas, you brought this man into this courtroom, accusing him of leading a revolt and claiming to be the Son of God. But having weighed your evidence, I find him to be innocent of these charges. But let me ask those who have heard the evidence. Let me see what they think. How do you find this man? He is guilty. He is a blasphemer. Guilty. Guilty. It's enough. That's just quite enough. What would you have me do with this man? Crucify him. I find no guilt in this man. But the responsibility belongs to each and every one of you. You must decide for yourself. What do you say? Guilty. 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 Crucify him. The soldiers led Jesus away into the palace and called together the whole company of soldiers. They put a purple robe on him and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. And they began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! And again and again they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. 